Face up dogs, and today I'm going to be doing a Top of the Talk Thursday where I talk about video games, but I do not show my face. So, today is Top of the Talk Thursday it is about Pokemon X and Y. It's a whole scenario of Pokemon X and Y. So, as, as we all know, Pokemon X and Y were recently announced this January and will be coming out. November this fall of 2013 and Pokemon X features the new legendary Pokemon that looks like the original sauce book I have no clue what it looks like yet and the Y Pokemon is the bird one and the X is like a deer so yep and that's what that looks like so let's take a look at some other pictures that we have so let's take a picture so let's look for some pictures. And there also is a new Eevee evolution. It is called Sylveon. It is basically a... Probably a... I'm not really sure what kind of type this is. Um, speaking of types, um, Pokemon X and Y will feature the new um, type of light. And that this is what this might be. And there's these new legendary Pokemon. As you can see, there's this bird. And if you can tell, the reason why, and this one's in Pokemon Y. And if you want to wonder why, because look at, it looks like a Y. Look at that, that, and then that. See, it's a Y. It's a Y. So that's why that's Pokemon Y. So if you're looking to want to get the bird, then you're going to want to get Pokemon Y. And if you want to get the deer thing that was a bunch of horns, then you want to get Pokemon X. I think that... Hold on, let's find a picture of that deer. Here's a picture of the deer. So as you can see, let's see if we can find out why this is Pokemon X. Probably just because they didn't have a home for it or something. But let's just see. The... Antlers make the top of the the X, and then nope, it just probably just gave it randomly. All right, let's check about let's check out the new starters. Let's check out the starters for a minute. Picture the starters. Okay, here's a picture of some of the starters. But um, let's get some more info. So a picture or something. Okay, here are the starters. Here are their names. This is Froki. This is the new water starter up for do up for dibs. This is Fennekin, the fire fox starter for dibs, and this is Chesspin, the uh, grass one up for dibs. So those are the starters. Now you can tell that one's fire, that one's grass, that one's water. They're easy to tell. Now, let's see a picture. Here is the chest pin evolution. Chest pin starts off like this, evolves into that, and then final is that. So that's chest pin. Okay, let's see if we can find Froki. Okay, let's. Okay, this picture right here. This picture is um, Finnekin's final evolution. This is a pretty sweet one. Uh, this is really cool. So, yeah. These are their pictures. And now, as you can see here, this is available for the 3DS only. So if you have a, um, like a if you have a DS, then it won't come on. Also, for Wii U users, you might want to check your... Okay, here's Froki's evolution. Final evolution. It's Froki's a final evolution. What was I just going to say? Uh, oh, yeah. The Wii U, people who have a Wii U, you might want to, like... See if you can get it off your Nintendo eShop. So, like, go down to, like, Target or Meyer and get a Nintendo eShop point card. 
and if you try and go on the eShop and it says you need a network ID, then you need to create uh, a network ID. So if once you create a network ID, it'll it's easy, it's for free. You just gotta create a network ID, and then after that you can go get some Nintendo eShop points and like just like it's basically just like Wii points, and then you just get a card, scratch them off, and then the eShop, and then. And then you could try and look for this this fall. So, yep. And I know I talked about this Sylveon evolution. This is, um, it's like, just odd to have that. Okay, so let's take a look at Eevee's evolution now that there's this new chart. So Eevee can evolve into tons of different things. See, Sylveon is a mystery. So we don't even know what Sylveon type is going to be. So let's look at the EV evolution. So EV can evolve into Jolteon. It can evolve into Flareon. It can evolve into Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon, Espeon, Vaporeon, and now Sylveon in Pokemon X and Y. <laughs> Odd. Okay, now that we got that done with, let's go check out the Pokemon X and Y legendaries. Let's go check out the legendaries. Let's find out more about the legendaries. So here is the Pokemon X legendary. I mean Pokemon Y, because it's shaped like a Y, so that's why it's a Y's. Anyways, so this is obviously... Looks like this. Let's see if I can. But yep, this is the Pokemon Y Pokemon if you want to get it. That's what that one looks like. And the other one. Let's see if I can get a good picture of that. Let's see if I can find something. It's a weird meme. Alright, well, this is probably the best picture I can get. So this looks like the yeah, Pokemon X Pokemon so yeah okay now let's go check out the web and find out the legendaries names let's check that out okay well let's see here what we got everyday winner and I wanted to bring you guys a quick video to update you on some Pokemon X and Y information all right so today is January 9th the day after Pokemon X and Y was announced and yep, today see, January. Nintendo released the names of the two title legendaries that are going to be in Pokemon X and Y let's start out with the legendary for Pokemon X the um horse Dialga looking thing. Me and K-Mag didn't, neither of us caught on to that, but a couple people commented, and it really does look like Dialga. But, its official name is Xerneas. So there is the Pokemon X Pokemon, as we can now call him Xerneas. So that is Xerneas. I believe that's how you say it, Xerneas. Okay, that's how you say that. Um, spelled very strangely, but it's cool. Cool name, cool name. And then for the Pokemon Y mascot, it is pronounced Eveltal. Eveltal. So, you can get either Eveltal or where is it? Get Eveltal or Eveltal or Xerneas. So, okay guys. Okay, dogs, well, that is the top of the talk Thursday. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.